hello hello and welcome back so i asked you guys wanted to what i asked you guys what you wanted to see next on my ig stories and i got some requests for story time so this is gonna be my first story time video and this is the time that an old man saw me naked okay so since you guys are knowing me now while I'm on this journey, getting back to like my passions and my loves and working for myself, I used to work for a hospital in Los Angeles and everybody has probably heard of the school, but I used to work at UCLA. So in working for UCLA and, and living in California, they do offer something that's, I don't know what they call it now, but it's clean and green and they give you passes for like train or bus to get to work and clean driving because there's way too many people, admissions are high, smog is bad, it's a whole thing. So I was taking the bus to work because I was only like two miles from my job. So this one particular day, I just happened to be in a rush and I mean, my mom then yes I had had my daughter she was two so you know getting into the swing of things motherhood going back to work full-time you know having a full-time nine-to-five job um, it's just a lot in itself so then getting yourself ready your kids ready getting to where you need to go is a thing so this particular morning I can't even remember why I was running late but I was running late and I wanted to get to the bus as quick as I could and so I left my house now mind you I have on dress shoes slacks a button-up and like a sweater that says UCLA on the top you know, the uniform that they give you so I leave the house first I leave and then I leave the keys in the house but I don't lock the door so good thing I didn't lock myself out without the keys. So I go back in, get the keys, lock the door, and then I'm running down the stairs out of the apartment. So I'm looking at the time, and as I pass one block, I see that the bus is coming, right? So I'm like, okay, bus is coming. Let me, you know, take a little brisk, not a brisk. You guys, I started charging in like a full sprint. I don't even like running, but I was trying to get there. You hear me? I was trying to make sure I get to work on time because, because it's important to be on time. Time management is important. So this is obviously a poor example of when I was not on my game with time management. Anyway, so I take off running, take off running down the street and I'm booking it. I get to the second street and then it's a straight shot up into the bus stop, you know, and it's like right there. So I take off running and on one side of the street, there's like construction. So the sidewalk is completely empty. So I'm thinking, oh, I'll just like run up that side of the sidewalk. I'll get there faster, boom. So as I'm running, I am feeling good about myself, you guys. I'm feeling like I'm gonna make it. I'm almost there. And lo and behold, my foot gets stuck in a sinkhole in the sidewalk. Now, I was still in mid run. So I was running my foot got stuck in the hole i still had momentum and then i smacked like face down into the sidewalk now as i have slid in on the sidewalk my pants have slid chow all the way down by my knees and when i say pants i mean underwear too like the business was out it was out and um, I start crying because I feel like this pain in my foot. I'm like, oh my God. Now I don't realize that my pants are down yet, but they have slid down to my knees. So I 
start crying because I feel this pain in my foot. My foot is still stuck in this hole. I'm trying to get it out. And then all I hear is like, ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? And it's this older man who he like, I see him often, I don't know who he is, but I see him often taking walks in the morning when I'm leaving for work. You know, it's like seven, 7.30 in the morning. There's not many people out, but you know, people with routines are out. So I hear this guy, so ma'am, ma'am, are you okay, are you okay? I'm still crying, my foot is in a massive amount of pain. And I realized when he walks up to me, he's like, oh, uh, do you wanna fix yourself up? And I'm like, fix myself up? Like, what are you talking about fix myself up? Child, then I realized the pants was at the knees. And then I realized the underwear was also at the knees. Y'all, I was so embarrassed. I don't think I have ever been that embarrassed in my life. Pants down, underwear down, embarrassed. And I still had to stand up and pull my pants up. Only to realize I had thought I'd broken my foot at this point. So my foot is now blue. I'm standing up. I have to, in front of this older man, pull up. And when I say old, y'all, I mean like old, like gray glasses. He had like walking with the kids on, little shorts, like that is the old that I'm talking about. Anyway, so I had to stand up with all the dignity that I had left, pull my panties up, pull my pants up, get back home and take myself to urgent care. Then I found out that my foot was not broken, but it was sprained. First four toes were sprained as well. So I was in a cast and on crutches for about two weeks. Couldn't walk, limping everywhere. And I have this thing, you guys, I do want to tell you that I am very clumsy. I'm very, very clumsy. I don't know what it is, but it's just like falling down or trying to move too fast, going too fast, slipping down the stairs, slipping up the stairs. I just have, now I'm just a bit clumsy. That is my first story time, the time when an old man saw me naked. Babe, do you remember this? Well, I fractured my toes, but I sprained the foot. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next one. I have to think of good stuff for you guys. And I'm gonna try and find the picture so I can post it where you guys can see my foot. Old man, if you're out there and you see this, thank you for helping me out in my time of need. Thank you for not feeling me, or not feeling me. Thank you for not making me feel worse about being pantsless and underwearless on the streets of LA. And of course, I'll see you Sunday for some more stars and chills.